name is Jeremy Mize, president of Mid-South Technologies. We're here today in St. Louis with one of my clients, SCF Marine, a Secor company, to discuss the FLIR cameras that we've installed on their tugboats. So I started the company approximately 10 years ago. Basically, my background was in IT. We started working with companies like Secor and uh, SCF Marine approximately six years ago. And probably to date, we've outfitted more than 60 to 70 vessels with different types of uh, CCTV and recording solutions. We have 31 towboats and very diversified fleet of dry cargo, covered hopper barges, open hoppers, tank barges, 30,000 barrel unit tows and deck barges, fleeting operations and in international business in Argentina and Colombia. Safety is a, a big part of SeaCorp, uh, whether it's in our annual reports, whether it's in our marketing brochures, uh, letters from the chairman, safety is typically going to be the first thing that is addressed. And, uh, and so that was an easy choice. We, uh, we knew we needed to do some things in safety to, to grow with the times of the, of the towing side and a lot of technology had come into the offshore business and we used our offshore relationships and started looking at technology that we could bring into the inland river system. exterior cameras for the vessel and also interior cameras for uh, security and safety. We feel like it's a, it's a good advantage to our employees. We feel like it makes them safer, their work environment safer, and we feel like it's a, it's a good advantage. It's, it gives our captains or our wheelhouse people one more tool to use. Uh, you have your uh, electronic charts, you have your radar, you have these other items, and this just gives them one more choice. One of the things with the FLIR camera that, uh, that that we had talked about is from our, from our standpoint is is situations where you you lose vis visibility. Like we have a number of ways on boats to extend our lookout, whether it's radar or our personnel and in different things, searchlights. But nothing in a, in certain conditions like shut out fog or, or rain or something in, in that respect. So we saw this as an opportunity to to possibly give the guys another tool they can use to extend their lookout when they get in conditions like like shut out fog or, or heavy rains where you're trying to find a safe place to hold up but uh, but it, it came on suddenly man overboard immediately uh, got my interest because it like i said it's something that we have to we have a zero uh, zero defects on we do not can't you know, we don't want anyone falling in the river if that's your primary objective is to make sure they don't fall in the river then in, then in cases where they do then how do you respond quickly uh, the quicker you respond, the less likely they are to be injured, so that's, that's, that's key. Also, though, from a navigation standpoint, there are times when uh, uh, visibility is, is limited suddenly. And I've been on boats before when, that, when that's happened, and you kind of have this little spot where you just, you're, you're kind of looking at your radar, you got a little bit of idea where you're at, but basically you're just you're hoping your pilot is, is skilled because that's the only thing that really gets you safely into the bank. But to have something like this, a, a tool that they can actually use to, to be able to to see the bank. I know, I know you'll probably show photos of, of actual occurrences, but it does a really good job at uh, identifying bridges and bank lines and what have you. So it is useful for our wheelhouse person that want to get in that kind of situation. 